everyone and welcome back to Mystic Korea. It is Evie weekend. <laughs> it's very hard not to say community day. It is Evie community weekend and I am super excited for this event. It is going to kick off in about two minutes but before it does that there's a few things that I want to talk about. The first one is going to be this weekend's challenge. If you haven't seen it yet uh, I have posted it both on my Twitter and in the Discord. If you're not in either of those or following me on Twitter you can take a look at the link uh, in the description and join the Discord or follow me on Twitter and that way you'll be kind of up to date with uh, challenges as they come out uh, because of course we have to have a challenge for Community Day and any big event. Other things uh, I want to do real fast, uh, as you can see I have an Eevee as my buddy. This is a Hundo Eevee that I want to evolve uh, for the start of the event. So we're going to go in here and we're going to evolve this now. Uh, let's see this guy right here. Uh, so a really cool thing that I, I didn't know was available is that you can actually choose between the different options. So if you have a glacial lure or a mossy lure, I assume and you were in kind of proximity to those, you could then uh, evolve them that way. Uh, and if I unbuddy it, then I would get, a, I think, a random evolution. So uh, that being said, we're going to go ahead and involve this guy into Sylveon. This is going to be my great league Sylveon here. And uh, yeah, so if you guys find yourself enjoying this video, make sure you drop a like uh, and comment down below uh, how many uh, good Pokemon you think I might get. But also, let's talk about the challenge. So the challenge for today uh, and for tomorrow is going to be how many Eevees can you catch? All right, and how we're going to take a look at this, and I'll actually go back to the one that I just evolved. All right, how you can kind of figure this out is you can go to your Pokédex, all right? Uh, and obviously that's for Sylveon, so I actually need to change that and go to Eevee. Was not thinking quite correctly there. All right, so you specifically need to go to your Eevee Pokédex. All right, I have seen 1,700 Eevees. I have caught 1,580. All right, so now I'm going to screenshot this. And when the event is over tomorrow at uh, 5 p.m., I will go back and I will screenshot this again and we'll see. My goal is going to be over a thousand, maybe closer to 2,000. I'm not really sure. Uh, so let me know what you guys think. Uh, am I going to get any hundos this weekend? I really hope so, especially a shundo would be amazing. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hop in. It is officially 11 o'clock. And EVD has started! Well, there's Magnemite still. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw on an incense. Uh, and uh, let's see, anything else that I need here? I don't think so. Oh, and I have my ticket. Uh, so yeah, here are all the Eevees. Can we get a Shundo today? That is the question. I'm definitely going to be raiding a bunch as well later on. And I have a bunch of Great Balls and Ultra Balls for uh, these fast catches that I'm doing right here. And we'll grab this one as well. I really like the little thing that tells me how many Eevees to, like, I've caught because then I know that my fast catching has worked. All right, there we go. That's number three. Yep, caught all three. Here's number four. Uh, now, if you noticed, uh, the, the regular research became available last night, my time. It was at like 1 or 2 a.m. Uh, for those uh, that are living obviously in Asia or in Australia, Eurasia. Uh, there's a special research that became available last night and basically this is for the weekend and obviously it gives you a mossy lure and a glacial lure and probably an Eevee encounter of some sort. Uh, what was I gonna do? I was gonna do, ah, I need to power up a Pokemon. All right, let's catch this Eevee here. That's a big one. The catch, nice, okay. So there's my glacial lure. Now let's go in and power up. We'll go ahead and go to that Eevee that I just evolved. Two, three, four. I think that's as high as I can go with it. We'll check real fast. Yep, can't go any higher. So that guy is done. And we'll just go with you and power you up. So as you can see, this one is not uh, my buddy, but it has walked enough hearts, so it um, it can evolve into Sylveon or it can evolve into something random right now. Okay, uh, lots of EVs. Let's go ahead and collect the rewards here. 1,000 XP. 
I do hope that I will be leveling up to 47 during the weekend. I think I need like one and a half, two million XP more, and then I will be ready to level up. All right, that Eevee should be caught. And then, ah, here's the special research. So power up a Pokemon 10 times, catch 15 Eevee, make seven nice throws. Pretty easy, oh, that was it for the lures? Okay, all right, you know. I was hoping that there would be a little bit more. That's really short. I mean, that means that everybody gets both of those lures, which is great, but uh, usually, you know, you want a little bit more. But uh, it is what it is, I guess. I really need to be making some nice throws, though, because <laughs> it's part of the research. No shinies yet, unfortunately. Uh, but hopefully we'll get some. Go head back to this guy. There we go, there's a nice throw. All right, let's see here. So, oh, I need to power up a Pokemon again. So we'll go back to that Eevee, that Hundo Eevee here. Uh, we'll just go ahead and go two, three, four, five. Should work, there we go. All right, this is my, I don't know what I'm gonna turn this one into, but I gotta figure something out. Uh, now Sylveon has Psy Shock, obviously, as you guys can see here. Uh, let's see, get some pinups. There's another Eevee. So many Eevees. Today's gonna be awesome. So once I finish recording here, I'm gonna end up going out and uh, going to a place with a lot of Pokestops and probably spending most of my day there. But uh, yeah, this is this is Eevee Community Weekend and we're gonna have two days of this. So hopefully you guys are excited and ready and let's go catch some Eevees. So yesterday was exhausting. If I look tired, that's why. I spent a full six hours catching a ton of Eevees and I'll update you on that in a moment. But before we kind of jump into today's Eevee part of the video, we are gonna level up, all right? It is time to level up. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a lucky egg. I have a couple of friends waiting to level up with me and it looks like some people waiting to add me as well. So let's take a look here. Uh, I've got a few people that are ready to go, uh, and I think I only need about 600,000 XP, but I've got, obviously, as you can see, four best friends ready. So we'll go ahead and do these, and I desperately need some Pokeballs because my bag space is looking a little bit empty, a little bit light today. I went through about 600 Ultra Balls yesterday, and, um only have maybe like 300 or so left uh, so this is gonna go ahead and help us with that and we're gonna go ahead and level up to level 47 all right so we're gonna go ahead and let this come through and let's see what we get there's the first one okay so that was from somebody else all right these are from a couple other people that I sent gifts to uh, last night all right so let's take a look here so we're at 17.4 
waiting for those ones that I just did to roll through. We have about three minutes before uh, comm day starts. Let's see here. Maybe. We'll go ahead and spin that pokey stuff as well. Get our two day streak. Here we go. Here come our 200,000 XP. There's one. And there's two. Here we go. And, oh, getting a raid invite, but I don't have any remote passes, unfortunately. There's three, and that's gonna put us over uh, for level 47. There it is, level 47, guys, level 47. Woo woo! All right, so 30 Ultra Balls, a um, bunch of useless berries, incubator, and uh, XL Rare Candy, which is nice. I really wish we got better stuff. I mean, it takes a lot to get to this level, a lot. Uh, so it looks like I've caught 7.9 thousand Pokemon, 4,000 Pokestops. All right, we've only got two minutes before the event starts, so uh, I wanna go ahead and go in here now and take a look at what the requirements are for this level. So I have to get 10 souvenirs from my buddy, earn 300 hearts with my buddy, walk 200 kilometers with my buddy, and walk 25 kilometer in one week using Adventure Sync eight times. So this is why I was really pushing to get this done before Monday. So it's gonna take me two months to do this, unfortunately. Uh, but the other stuff I should be able to finish relatively quickly. So yeah, um, this is gonna take a bit. It's gonna take me two months to level up to 48. This kind of sucks. Uh, but it is what it is, and I definitely think I'll be able to get the XP by then, but I'll definitely be working into the next level, into level 49, uh, by the time I do actually get to level up. So, let's go ahead and get ready for today's community day. Uh, I am gonna go ahead and buddy up a Mega Pokemon, so we're gonna go with Lot Bunny again. Uh, I did this yesterday. Oh, I'm out of Lot Bunny candy! Okay, never mind. Um... Decisions, decisions. I don't think there's any other normal type. Oh, not cat kind of off. I've got so many EVs. All right. Uh, oh, I can do Pidgeot. Okay, well that works. Um, yeah, we can do we can do Pidgeot, or hmm, I do think I have a Pidgeotto four star. Okay, yeah, there we go. Uh, what I can do with this guy is I'm gonna evolve him and then he is gonna be my mega Pokemon. Uh, so this is my four star one that I've just not evolved. And this will be a new evolution as well because I don't think I've done a mega uh, Pidgeot before. All right, so let's see if that's mega evolve you. Yes, here we go. Interesting that that one only costs 100, but some of the other ones cost like 200. Interesting. Ooh, he's pretty cool looking. All right, Mega Pidgeot has been added to the Pokedex. All right, very cool. Uh, it is officially 1101, so let's go ahead and throw on our incense. Uh, and we are going to go ahead and do that for two Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Almost did that. I have done that before where I've accidentally used a lucky egg and it's awful. All right, so we'll go ahead and set, throw that on and I don't have my Go Plus with me. Now, yesterday I was super lucky because I was able to get uh, weather boost the last, I would say, maybe like two to three hours of the event. Uh, whereas most of the event, unfortunately, was just regular like this. So I did get quite a good amount of uh, dust. Now, uh, I'm not going to tell you how many I caught just yet. I will tell you how many I caught yesterday at the end of the video. Uh, but I will show you the best shiny that I was able to catch. And I have a bunch that I need to evolve today. I went through. Uh, so let me see. So uh, shiny and Eevee. So the very best one that I caught was this one right here that I evolved into an Umbreon last night. It is a 96 uh, and it's it's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I think it was like 300 CP. Uh, this is honestly the best one that I caught out of the entire day. Uh, the majority of the ones that I caught were really bad three stars or mostly two stars. I got a couple decent ones for Battle League but we'll see if I can kind of outdo today. 
But yeah, so the plan is I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna keep catching, uh, might take a break. I don't know if I'm gonna play the whole day because I am absolutely exhausted from yesterday as you guys probably are too. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, I wanna get some hondos. I would like to get some more shinies. Uh, I have a ridiculous amount of uh, Eevee candy right now. <laughs> and this is after evolving a bunch last night. So around 9K and I started I think with like 3K. Uh, but yeah, so 546 XLs and 300,000 dust, which is going to be awesome for leveling some of these EVs up. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to have an awesome day. Let's go. finished with EV community weekend. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did with it. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at what I was able to get. Uh, so uh, overall, I think I did pretty good. Uh, I actually, in theory, reached my entire goal, which was to try and get 2000 EVs. Uh, remember at the start of the video, I started out with 1580 EVs caught, and I ended up with 3666. Now, it is important to remember that any kind of trades do count towards this, and I did do a lot of trades. Uh, so overall, I think I ended up with around 2,086 total EVs caught, uh, including the ones that I traded. So yes, I did manage to reach my 2,000 goal, which was awesome. Now, what do you guys think? Did I get any hundos? Did I get any really good shinies? Let's go ahead and take a look at that now. Uh, at the beginning of this event, I did have, uh, let's see, um, 
I did have three four star Eevees uh, or Eevee evolutions and those had actually come from trades which was amazing. Uh, now uh, I'm typing the exact same thing. Uh, let's see, I did not get any more four stars. So I'm actually planning on evolving that 971 into a Glaceon. I completely forgot to do it during the event and we still have some time now to evolve them. So I'm going to be doing that. But and this is my Sylveon that I evolved and my, uh, and my Umbreon uh, that I evolved. Actually, I did do the Umbreon during the event. Uh, but yeah, so no four stars, but let's go ahead and take a look at what I did get that was actually pretty decent. I did get some decent trades. Uh, and I did get a pretty good shiny one. Uh, so let's go ahead and see here. Let me go ahead and pull up the shiny one first. So I was really lucky in that I got a lucky best friend trade with someone and I traded for this Vaporeon here. And it came out pretty decent. I mean, it's like an 89, uh, but it's it's my shiny Vaporeon and I'm super happy that I got it. Uh, and it is double moved, so I'm pretty happy with this. Now, I did also get this one here, and this one was pretty amazing. It is a 96. This is actually a wild caught uh, Eevee. Uh, that was a 96. It was the best one I got, I think, out of the whole event, and I got this actually on the first day. Uh, it was like a level 300, but as you can see, it's not traded. This is a 96 shiny Eevee that I went ahead and turned into an Umbreon. Uh, and I went ahead and also evolved some of the shiny ones that I did get. Uh, since these are three or four stars, I'll go ahead and show you real fast. So this one here is, um, it's okay. Uh, this was actually my shiny Sylveon that I evolved a couple months ago when Sylveon first came out. I think I did it actually on stream with you guys. Uh, this Jolteon is definitely gonna be a traitor. This one here is I'll probably keep. Uh, this Glaceon's okay. Uh, Leafeon, yeah, that's my Umbreon and that's my Vaporeon. And then I have this Eevee here that I don't, I'll probably end up trading it. I don't see a use for it. So uh, let's take a look at total shinies caught from this event. Now, when I started the event, I already had six shinies. So I caught a total of 70 shiny Eevees during the event. So that's over two days. So an average of 35 a day. However, I did catch, uh, I think it was 37 on day one, which means I caught 33 on day two. Uh, the majority of these are zero, one, and two stars. Um, so a lot of them are pretty bad. <sighs> Niantic, if you ever happen to watch one of my videos, please allow us to mass transfer out shiny Pokemon. Because the way it works right now, uh, you can't transfer uh, shiny Pokemon. You have to individually go in. That is like 70, 70 shinies, man. Come on. I'm never gonna, I mean, I could trade all 70 of them. It's gonna take me two months, but you know, I could, but good grief. Come on. I'd have to be trading every day for two months just to clear this out. And we're gonna have another community day coming up next month as well. So Niantic, please enable us to mass transfer shinies, just like we can do legendaries. Please, please hear me, hear my words. All right, so that's something that I really wish that they would do for the longest time. I definitely went through pretty much all of my Pokeballs. Um, if you remember, I started out with like 900 something Ultra Balls. I'm down to 46. Uh, I probably would have caught more Eevees, but yesterday I ended up in a park uh, not too far from my house. And unfortunately, a lot of stuff just wasn't spawning the last like 30 minutes. I kind of had run through all of the uh, the spawns, but I did end up getting like seven shinies in one spot, which was amazing. And I do know um, a couple people that were able to get some hundos and someone who even got a shundo. I did not. <laughs> uh, I did get some good stuff from trades uh, and I'm pretty happy with them. Um, I did a lot of trades, so I got this 98 that'll probably turn into something. I haven't decided what. I've got about 24 hours left of the event, uh, maybe a little bit less. Uh, actually, probably only like 12 hours uh, until the event is over. And um, yeah, I, I need to figure out what to evolve these into. Otherwise, I'll just hold on to them until either we get another new shine or EV evolution uh, or something else pops up. But yeah, I did a lot of trades 
uh, over the last three days and I need to kind of sort through what I've got. I haven't really finished sorting through as you can uh, kind of see my, my total EVs at the moment I still have like 500. So I really need to clear out some bag space and um, it was really great for getting uh, dust. I did drop a couple star pieces. We did have weather boost here, which was amazing. Uh, and as you can see, I got a ridiculous amount of candy. I think I had maybe like 3000 candy at the beginning, but I ended up with, you know, 12,000 and I'm really close to getting a uh, 1k, um, EV candy XL. So once I actually transfer out the rest of my EVs, cause I've got like 400, I need to get rid of, then, uh, I will definitely have hit probably a 1k XL candy, but uh, I haven't decided yet what I really want to send it into. I did want to actually do something here though. Um, actually on camera, actually here's what I can do. I can just go into my tags. I've tagged a bunch of stuff for powering up all my EV evolutions here. Uh, but I did want to go ahead and power up one of my shiny ones. Uh, and I think I'm going to go ahead and do my hundo that we have here. This is my hundo, right? No, never mind. That's my three star one. Uh, actually, you know what? Hmm. Do I have enough? I might. Ooh, I don't. I need 60,000 more dust to max this thing out. Yikes. Uh, which one should I my max out? Uh, maybe a lucky one is better. I could go with my shiny one there, or I could just go ahead and do Sylvie on here. I think I'll go ahead and do Sylveon. I can afford it. So we'll go ahead and max out this Sylveon, uh, my shiny 93 Sylveon, I think. And we'll go ahead and hit that and say goodbye to all that dust. That's still not even all of my dust. I got so much dust this weekend, so it was great. Yeah, so there he is, he's maxed out. Uh, and I mean, I do have a hundo one and I can probably max that one out too. Uh, let's take a look, four star, uh, let's see. See. Actually, let me go out here and we'll say four star and I wish they would make a button just for four star um, like they do the other ones, but uh, let's see. So I've got my Umbreon and this Umbreon is actually maxed out as you can see. Um, unfortunately, Umbreon only goes up to 2400, uh, whereas Sylveon goes much, much higher and I can probably just go ahead and max this guy out to, ooh, so close. Let me see, how much dust do I, ah, oh, I'm like eh, 38,000 away. Uh, but let's go ahead and level him up as far as we can. Go ahead and do two Sylveons out to max. I don't know why I'm doing this, but just because I can. And we'll send him out, my four star Sylveon. There we go. So yeah, so Sylveon gets uh, quite a lot a higher CP than Umbreon does, unfortunately. I wish they would change that because I do really like Umbreon and my shiny Umbreon is gorgeous. But yeah, so that, that was the event. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a blast. Um, I don't know what next calm day is going to be. I'm sure they're going to announce it in the next couple weeks. But uh, yeah, if you guys uh, were able to get more than 2000 EVs, let me know in the comments down below. I'm curious how well you guys did. Did you get hundos? Did you get shundos? Uh, 96 was the best wild that I caught. Uh, I actually caught a few yesterday, but they weren't shinies. Uh, but trading, I the best I got was a 98. So Anyways, I, if you guys enjoyed this, let me know by uh, liking the video and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye.